What's going on? Shane Serrano here coming to you from Radio Board Shop in Aspen, Colorado. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the LibTech Dynamo. So let's check it out. So here we have the LibTech Dynamo, a super sick board that has been gaining more and more notice in the last few years. This is starting to become a new favorite for some of the LibTech team riders. And it is an amazing looking board with the artwork coming from Mike Perillo. If you don't know, Mike Perillo is the artist who has done Travis Rice's graphics for probably close to a decade now, and it is the most vibrant, eye-catching artwork in maybe all of the snowboard game. In fact, go throw a like on this video if you think LibTech and Mike Perillo make some of the dopest graphics in the game. The LibTech Dynamo is going to be a great versatile board, kind of made to do everything you're looking to do on the mountain, whether it's cruising on the groomers or ripping big pow lines in the side country. This board is made with LibTech's C3 camber profile. So a slight start to camber with a mild rocker in the middle, but we all know that just means this board is regular camber. Because this is C3 regular camber, it is gonna be on the more aggressive side. So it's gonna have a little more power behind it. So not really made for that day one rider meant more towards the higher intermediate and more advanced rider. With the shape of this board, you're gonna get a very mild taper, which is only three millimeters. So only a slightly wider nose than tail. That is gonna help in freestyle terrain. So if you wanna be chucking spins into the powder, this is the board to do it. In this board, you're also getting LibTech's proprietary technology on the edges known as magnet traction. That just means there's seven serrations in the edge to give a harder bite and grip if you are in icier and firmer snow. In addition to that, you're gonna get edges that are not fully wrapped on the nose or tail. That is gonna add for easier fix-ups if you do bang up your nose or tail, and then also a little less swing weight on the tips. On the bottom of this board, you're gonna get a sublimated TNT base. Sublimated means the graphic is underneath the base, so there's no die cuts to slow you down or to get in your way. And then you're gonna have a fully porous centered base that wants to hold and absorb wax and keep this board running fast. Like all high-end snowboards, you will get a fully factory tuned board right out of the wrapper, so you're ready to go and ride this board when you get it. The Dynamo retails for $499.99 and comes in sizes 150, 153, 156, 159, 162, 156 wide, 159 wide, and 162 wide. And like all LibTech and GNU boards, this snowboard was made in the US by snowboarders for snowboarders, getting the call out tag like they do on every board. I always love seeing exactly who made your board. The flex on this board is gonna be somewhere in between mid and stiff, not too stiff and not too soft, just flexing it in the shop. It feels really good, something that's gonna be powerful behind you and give you plenty of snap. If you're interested in getting the LibTech Dynamo, go and hit the link in the description so you can buy it from Radio Board Shop and help support local snowboarding. And there you have it, that is the LibTech Dynamo, a really dope board that more and more people are starting to fall in love with. Thanks for checking out some new boards with me, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.